the bottom of the descent of the Poggio, another attack from Lotto, a real unwillingness, no concerted chase. Kwiatkowski adopts an unorthodox style, just hits the bottom, two, just over two kilometres to go now for the pole. He holds a very slender lead indeed over the chase, but there isn't a concerted chase. It's one or two riders trying their hand at all. Matteo Trentin looks like the rider of Ethics in on second wheel there. As we draw back, there's the lead for Michal Kwiatkowski. A slender four seconds is all he has as we come into the running. One of the riders in the mix there is Oscar Gatto. This is our lone leader. Can Michal Kwiatkowski take his first, well, the first monument for Team Sky? Well, it's still possible, but uh, I don't think now with the Ethics now riding on the front, coming off this uh, descent, now we can attack here from uh, Cancellara on the left-hand side. Well, Cancellara goes on the left-hand side. A big move there. Nobody can really go with him. Look at that. There's a rider from Etix fighting to stay in contact with Fabian Cancellara. This will all be eating into the lead of Michal Kwiatkowski. It says that the gap is five seconds. It certainly looks like it's not. He's been mopped up. Flying Cancellara. It's Matteo Trentin on the wheel. And it looks like it's all going to come back together for a sprint on the Via Roma. Yeah, he can't take Trentin to the finish. But uh, Peter Sagan is right up there. But it's Bosenhagen goes on the right-hand side. Followed by Van Abermatt. Edvard Bosenhagen goes on the right-hand side. Opens up. It's not really a sprint. He's gone very, very early indeed. Greg Van Avermaet fighting to stay in contact. One kilometre to go. Van Avermaet just makes contact with Edvard Bosenhagen. The fountain on the right-hand side. They've got another right-hander still to go. It's all coming together. It looks like it's Fernando Gaviria. One of the riders from Edix Quick Steps also there. We're well into the last 500 metres of this race. The junction now made. Greg Van Avermaet into the slipstream of Edvard Bosenhagen. Four riders have just managed to move clear of the peloton. Who is it going to be? Fabian Cancellara is also there. It looks like Jens de Boucher, the former Belgian champion, also in the mix. This is absolutely fascinating. Who is going to take it up in the final? There's a crash. A big crash. Looks like Gaviria has gone. Here is the final sprint. It looks like one of the riders from Lotto Sudau trying to take it up in the final. Nasser Buhani is also there. Arnav Demani is also there. Ben Swift also in the mix for Team Sky. Who is going to take the victory in the centre? Arnav Demar is going on the left-hand side. Demar of the FDJ takes the win. Ben Swift is second for Team Sky. Who would have predicted that? What an absolutely fascinating finale of Milan San Remo. But there you go. Arnav Demar crashed earlier on made contact with the leaders and delivered on the day Brian Smith I am worn out <laughs> what a dramatic finish there and uh, what a win it is for uh, France de Dieu the uh, after game in the Terreno uh, team time trial they came there delivered a good result unfortunately for Gaviria he looked as if he was in a, a great place. There was question marks over his form, whether, what he would be like sprinting after 300 kilometres. We don't know now because he crashed, but what a huge win it is for Demar and Francais.